تقبل الله منا ومنكم عيد مبارك علينا السلام عليكم and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for joining us and if you are a long time subscriber thank you so much for staying in today's video I wanted to talk a bit about Qurban, Qurbani, Udhir this morning I asked my children if they knew what the word Qurban was and much to my surprise they didn't know and it surprised me because they've seen it their entire lives because we live in an Islamic environment or a Muslim community here in America so for them not to know this just I don't know I expected them to know but because they're young they may have not put the two together although they've seen it their entire lives Qurban, Qurbani, Udhir so I figured there might be someone else out there who doesn't really understand how it's done or what it, what the method of uh, Qurbani is. So um, here in our Islamic village, we have Qurbani once a year, and there are a lot of people, a lot of Muslims in the world who don't have access to performing Qurbani just because um, in some places they live in apartments or high-rise buildings or whatever have you and we started as Muslims getting away from the tradition of Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, which is to sacrifice the animal, um, the ram, the lamb, the sheep, the cow, what have you ourselves and people started uh, figuring out different ways to do this which is uh, you can send your money to another country um, to have this done because it's somewhat difficult if you don't have your own property or your own animals or your own if you don't own your own it's a little more difficult to uh, perform Qurbani as an American Muslim so I wanted to take you all along with us to um, somewhat show you how we are able to carry out Qurbani in America as American Muslims. So you may ask, what is Qurbani? So Qurbani is the act of offering a sacrifice on Eid al-Adha and it commemorates the supreme sacrifice offered by Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, to show his total submission and gratitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's also one of the compulsory acts of Hajj. Once our beloved Nabi وسلم, was asked, what is Qurbani? The Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam answered, "It is the sunnah of your father Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. For every hair of Qurbani, you receive a reward from Allah subhanahu wa taala." This is reported by Al Tirmidhi. So, we sacrifice an animal during Qurbani or during Eid al-Adha because the Holy Quran informs us that. In a vision, Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, saw that he offered his son Ismail والسلام, in sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he shared this vision with his son, Nabi Ismail والسلام, said, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me, if Allah wills, of the patient ones. However, when Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, carried out the commandment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced Nabi Ismail والسلام, with a ram. My children and I actually just made a video on this. If you want to watch that, it is um, listed below. So you can click on that and watch the little movie that we made together in our homeschool drama club. So in order to remember his incredible bravery and to emulate the piety and example of one of the greatest men of Islam, Donating Qurbani is considered a highly rewardable act of worship and demonstration by Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So you might ask, where can I carry out my Qurbani? And like I mentioned before, in developed countries, it is very difficult. Alhamdulillah, we have our own property and we have our own village and we have our own Islamic society. So we are permitted to arrange, you know, um, for our own Qurbani and our children are there and we teach them and you know the tradition is passed down as opposed to just handing over your money or sending your money or transferring your money to someone else to do it 
uh, there's a certain value that's lost when it comes to actually witnessing your sacrifice or witnessing um, what it is like to touch the animal, to caress the animal, to talk to the animal and let them know what their purpose is in your life and how this act is being carried out as um, a benefit to people who cannot afford meat or cannot afford food and it's given to the less fortunate so that they can have something to eat on this blessed day which marks the occasion of Nabi Ibrahim والسلام, and his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his son with regard to his son um, there are certain animals that can be sacrificed you know you have a goat or a cow a camel a sheep in our case we usually uh, purchase sheep because we live in the country sheep and cows are more accessible we're not really going to find a camel here so then the meat is distributed between like uh, three thirds one goes to family or one third is for family one third is for like your neighbor and one third is for um, the poor so when you say who is the poor it goes to orphans, people of low income, um, like single parent families. You have a lot of, well in America we have a lot of immigrant families and people who are refugees and you know they may not necessarily be on their feet and they may, might not be able to afford kurbani. So these are the people who kurbani is distributed to or the meat is distributed to. So. I just wanted to go over that and show you how we do it here in America. You have uncles and nieces and fathers and uh, sons and everyone who's teaching their children how to perform kurbani or um, showing them what is done. And you know, it's a big deal, it's a big gathering where everyone comes together to do this and it's a lesson that is learned throughout the community and to keep up the tradition of Nabi Ibrahim this is how we do it here where we live so I hope this video was of some kind of benefit to you and um, let me know in the comment section if you've ever witnessed if you've ever done it or how you do it so that we can all share inshallah on this blessed day of Eid and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, share it. Give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to comment, you can do that as well. And inshallah, we'll see you in the next video where we have some books lined up for a book re review. And you take care. Until next time, inshallah. Eid Mubarak, wherever you are. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.